I'd like to start by saying um, happy International Women's Day to all the men and women in the room and it done to all of the people promoting feminism and ultimately closing the gender gap. We have to change as a society, no matter where in the world we are. According to a 2017 report by the World Economic Forum, it could still take another 100 years before the global equality gap between men and women disappear entirely. The gender pay gap could take another 90 years. I believe that International Women's Day shouldn't be a single day to celebrate a gender. The other day I was told women have done nothing. There has not been one single significant thing a woman has done. And I quote a teenage boy in the 21st century, Michelle Obama is probably the most recognizable woman for sleeping with a man. The ignorance of some boys and men who think they've been given the right to hold themselves superior to the other gender is appalling. Without women, would they be here? Probably not. Kedi aru na baera kosi bata bantu baudena. Ani, I need to ask a question to men in the room. How many men know where the International um, Men's Day is? Please raise your hand. Yeah, don't think so. Um. The International Men's Day is on the 19th of November, and I was asked, Well, I can't ask why men don't celebrate their own day. Um, by all means, do, but they shouldn't have the disrespect to put other girls and women down for what they believe in. Feminism is believing that men and women are equal, and not undermining one gender, and not believing that one gender has the upper hand. This speech isn't just for women to appreciate and love themselves, um, regardless of others, um, but to tell um, other men who undermine them, and not just to undermine men as a gender, but to say if anyone, girl or guy, tells you you're not good enough, or to change, or to um, or say that you're irrelevant or significant, then they're either jealous or incredibly insecure. I'm going to end with this quote by Michelle Obama, which some may find incredibly accurate. Men who dominated the classroom discussion during undergrad weren't smarter, but simply emboldened, floating on an ancient tide of superiority, but buoyed by the fact that history never told them anything different. Nobody has a right. You earn your rights, so don't automatically assume your right is to be superior than another person due to your gender or your status or your background. Um, so thank you to all the incredible women who are defying conformity biases, making their mark and not letting the rigid dichotomy between women and men affect anything, because I believe no gender should be better than the other just that both genders should receive equal opportunities and I think it's m most important to note that bringing down one gender to promote the other is not a form of feminism and a common misconception. Each person should be respected for their individual individuality without judgment or prejudice. And additionally, um, due to the recent corona outbreak, I urge you to do namaste instead of handshaking, just personal. Thank you. It's fine to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you.